It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. The 2020 general election, seven weeks from today. There are candidates and issues on the ballots of what President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama have already called the most important election in the history of our country. In the midst of scores of acts of voter suppression, check out the op-ed piece in today's What You Need to Know newsletter as we call together individual voters and organizations like the Divine Nine to demand free and fair elections from election administrators across this country. Number two, black men. The Biden presidential and Trump presidential campaigns want you. Historically, black men have been vital to the success of the Democratic Party, but in 2016, they showed significant support for Donald Trump. The Biden and Trump campaigns have recently unveiled a series of ads appealing to black men. The Biden Shop Talk ads feature black men socially distant in black owned barbershops, breaking down the state of our country. Number three, As the pandemic continues and the general election approaches, Democrats announced it is launching an expanded online portal called IWillVote.com. This allows visitors to register to vote and request a mail-in ballot in their state. Both the Democratic and Republican parties have recalibrated their get-out-the-vote efforts. Democrats have suspended their door-knocking efforts to prevent the spread of the coronavirus and focused on digital, texting, and phone calling efforts to attract potential voters. Number four, a Clayton County, Georgia sheriff's deputy has been fired for excessive force after a video released of him repeatedly punching an African-American man during a traffic stop. 26-year-old Roderick Walker was arrested and beaten by deputies after the car that he, his girlfriend, and their children were passengers in, and it was pulled over for an alleged broken taillight. Walker's attorney says deputies asked for Walker's ID, then they got upset when he questioned why it was needed since he wasn't even driving. Number five, many people are waiting on the government to issue a second round of stimulus checks. However, a study by the Urban Institute found that checks were delivered faster to wealthy whites than to black and Hispanic families, as well as to lower income households. Specifically, three quarters of white adults received their checks by late May, compared to 69% of black adults and 63% of Hispanic adults. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central for a Divine Nine Roundtable discussion about strategy to educate, motivate, and activate our community to participate in the most important election in our lifetime. And that's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com. Sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.